In my line of work, you've got to keep repeating things over and over and over again for the truth to sink in, to kind of catapult the propaganda. Iran's nuclear program, the threat of Israel's destruction, the world's most dangerous weapons. Nuclear weapon denies the Holocaust, threatens to wipe Israel off the map, sponsors terrorist groups committed to Israel's destruction. Nuclear armed Iran, Iran nuclear weapon. An Iranian nuclear weapon, terrorist nuclear weapon. Brutalized its own people, carried out terrorist attacks, Iran nuclear weapon. Iran, Iran, Iranian regime. Iranian nuclear program, Iran fails to meet its obligations. Iranian government, nuclear program. Iran nuclear weapon, we put forward a very clear choice to the Iranian regime, a path that would allow them to rejoin the community of nations if they meet their international obligation, or a path that leads to an escalating series of consequences if they don't. There is only one nation on earth that has actually used a nuclear weapon of mass destruction on the civilians of another country. And that's the United States. So if you want to be worried about somebody's possession of nuclear material suitable for use in nuclear weapons, let's start with the country that's actually done it. If you want nuclear disarmament, let's have everybody disarm. But this idea of saying our nuclear bombs are good and your nuclear bombs are bad, that's not going to play. Not in the modern world. This screaming at Iran, ooh, you're bad, you're bad for having nuclear technology. Here are the actual facts about what is going on. Iran has signed the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and so has the United States of America. Under the terms of that treaty, Iran is allowed to have nuclear power, medical isotopes, and other peaceful industrial uses of nuclear technology. Under Article 4 of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, the United States is obligated to assist Iran in the construction of peaceful nuclear facilities, which is a really good way to make sure nothing underhanded and clandestine is going on. But in ignoring their obligations under Article 4 and in trying to use military threat to coerce Iran into surrendering their rights under the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, it is the United States, not Iran, that is in violation of international law. Now, Iran allows IAEA inspections and innuendo and rumors aside, absolutely no evidence of weapons development has been found. It's a repeat of Iraq. Ooh, they've got weapons of mass destruction. They're dangerous. They're going to do this. We must invade and destroy them. They're just lies used to sell another war. Now, Iran has not initiated a war of conquest in 200 years. This is a claim that neither the United States nor Israel can match. Of the three of them, Iran is the one that is the least threat to world peace. Now, Israel, on the other hand, has never signed the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and does not allow IAEA inspections. Yet they do have nuclear weapons, as first revealed by Mordecai Venunu in 1985, and most recently by Germany, which admitted they have known all along Israel was arming the German-supplied Dolphin submarines with nuclear-tipped cruise missiles. Now, Israel likes to pretend they do not have nuclear weapons. Mr. President, do you know of any country in the Middle East that has nuclear weapons? Uh, with respect to nuclear weapons, uh, you know, I don't want to speculate. What I know is this, that if we see a nuclear arms race in a region as volatile as the Middle East, everybody will be in danger. Uh, and one of my goals is to prevent nuclear proliferation generally. Uh, I think that it's important for the United States, in concert with Russia, to lead the way on this, okay? Pick your All right. On who um, Sam Stein, Huffington Post, where's Sam? And the U.S. government goes along with this gross deception because it is illegal under the Symington Amendment to the Foreign Appropriations Act and under the Glenn Act for the U.S. government to send your money to any nation in possession of nuclear weapons technology that will not sign the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and refuses IAEA inspections, which is Israel. But there's no question, Israel is a nuclear power, and worse, 
As documents uncovered from the former government of South Africa officially confirm, Israel has been engaged in clandestine sales of nuclear weapons, which is the very activity the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty is designed to prevent. It's not about a nuclear threat of war. It's not about conflict. It's not about wiping somebody off the map. It's about dollar signs. Israel's the sixth largest nuclear power on Earth. They have bombs. They have delivery systems. They have submarines loaded with nuclear-tipped cruise missiles. Nobody's going to attack them. Iran is not a threat. They're not in the habit of invading other people. We need to go back and remember the lie of the century. This whole thing about Saddam's weapons of mass destruction. He's got nukes, he's got germs, he's got chemicals. Just constant pounding, selling us that war. Look at how many media outlets, how many governments, how many so-called academics, how many officials, people with gold things hanging on the walls and medals around their neck to trick you into thinking that they're truthful and honest and not be listened to. And they all took part in the lie that Saddam Hussein had illegal weapons of mass destruction. Saddam Hussein weapons of mass destruction. Iraqi regime biological chemical attack 45 minutes. Nuclear bomb. Weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass destruction. Saddam nuclear weapons. It's all the same people lying to you to get what they want, which is your money and your children's lives and your obedience. And the, the claims about Iran are just more of the same thing. It is USDA choice. Bullshit. The media are almost literally exploding with bullshit. And the government of the United States of America and the government of Israel are absolutely convinced that you are stupid enough to fall for the same lie twice in a row. They actually think that about you. Weapons of mass destruction worked with Iraq, it'll work again. We don't have to bother ourselves. Those voters, they're stupid, they'll fall for it twice in a row. Those weapons of mass destruction gotta be somewhere. <laughs> nope, no weapons over there. <laughs> Maybe under here. The U.S. government, the government of Israel, the corporate media, all in tandem, in unison, in coordinated effort, lied you into a war of conquest. Which means now there is no reason not to assume they're not doing it again. And from where I sit, when a government lies to people to lead them into a war of conquest, that is the greatest crime a government can commit against its own people. Because every other crime is wrapped up inside there. There's the lies, there's the theft and looting of the foreign invaded nation. There is the murder of soldiers on both sides of the line, victor and vanquished, suffer in wars. And when that war is unnecessary, when it is merely motivated by greed and the lust for power, that is a crime not just against the invaded nation, it is a crime against the people of the invading nation. The corporate TV news are lying about everything except the sports scores and the weather, and they're not even all that good on the weather. That's why we call them prostitutes. Iraqi nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons of mass destruction. Mushroom cloud. The mushroom cloud. Iraq mobile biological weapons labs. Saddam Hussein, 500 tons of sarin, mustard, and VX nerve agent. Saddam Hussein, chemical agents. Saddam Hussein, 38,000 liters. Botulinum toxin. Aluminum tubes. The nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons. The Saddam Hussein, uranium from Africa. Iran, nuclear weapon. Iranian regime. Iranian government, nuclear weapons. Iran's leaders, Iran, nuclear weapon. Iran, Iranian program, Iran, nuclear weapon. War is mass murder wrapped in a pretty flag, wrapped in a pretty flag, wrapped in a pretty flag, wrapped in a pretty flag. They say the leader of Iran says he wants to wipe uh, Israel off the he face of the earth. He didn't say that, and you know very well he didn't say that. He well, said he wanted 
Zionism to be wiped off the page of history. Well, just like he said, Nazism and communism. When you wanted to wipe out communism, you didn't want to wipe out Russia. You didn't want to wipe out the Russian people. This was a political statement. But George, it's all right in the news record, of the world, but this George, is the Oxford Union, Francis. George, Have George, a bit of intellectual rigor. Uh, George, okay. your record of... Your record of uh,